Association of Conservation Districts. We're here on the Little Snake River in Southwest Wyoming to share with you a stream restoration project which evolved through work done by the Conservation District, landowners, and various partners. I'm here today with Mark Blakely, civil engineer with the Little Snake River Conservation District, and Bob Davis, the landowner. Thank you both for being here today. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Mark, can you share a little bit about the background and how this uh, project evolved? Yes, Kathy. Uh, we started in 2009. The district identified several issues on a seven mile reach of river right here on the Little Snake River uh, near Bags, Wyoming. Um, the, the issues included uh, fish passage problems for three uh, warm water endangered fish species. Uh, we had bank loss, erosion, and, and land loss throughout the reach. Um, Flooding through the town of Bags, the town of Bags water and filtration gallery was seriously impaired from the uh, uh, sediment load. We started in 2009 doing the survey, uh, planning, uh, coordinating a lot of landowners and funding. Uh, since that time, we, we worked through a, a master plan that identified uh, phasing for the project and addressed all the kinds of objectives that we had listed out. And right now, I guess we're three years into the project. Uh, when we started, we were right back up here on this section of the river where we're standing right now. Uh, we started with Bob Davis on this, this particular piece. So Bob, can you tell us about some of the issues that you were dealing with on this stretch of river? On this particular stretch of river, it had widened and had changed the channel. Uh, it was hitting this bank over here, which is about 150 feet away from where we are right now. And then it had gone on down the river here and taken out the infrastructure of the irrigation system and was threatening the, the neighbor's meadows severely. It had migrated probably 250 foot to the west here. And with all these things happening, we were losing valuable hay meadow and uh, we were getting a lot of silt deposited in here that was, n was not needed. So they, they approached us about coming in here and trying to do a pilot project here and getting this thing going. So we, we went along with it. So through the, with, with Mark's help and everything, they've developed a good, good plan here on bringing the river back in line and stabilizing the channel level. And uh, with that, we needed somebody that could do this type of work. And coincidentally, the neighbor is a, a very good dirt contractor. So he lent his effort expertise on putting what Mark had down on paper into what you see now. All right, great. Let's uh, go talk to the contractor. So also joining us today is Jack Reisner, the general contractor for the project. Thanks, Jack, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> So Jack, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what work you did here on this stretch of the Little Snake River and, and what maybe some of the issues were that you encountered? We started hauling in materials, which is a big issue on these projects because it takes a lot of, a lot of land to get the storage to store the products. And the trees, Bob was gracious enough, we took a lot of trees out to build this tollwood right here behind us. Um, that's a pretty in-depth project when you dig those out and we've totally realigned the river through this stretch. And we put a lot of rock structures in, J-hooks and cross vein grade control structures, um, boulder clusters in the riffles, and it's all totally rebuilt through this stretch. We started out by realigning all the banks, doing most of the excavation, and then we moved in once we got the river where we kind of wanted it. We started putting in tow wood. Most of the rock is really big in these projects. Just to stand the velocity of the river, you have to start with big material. So it takes pretty big equipment to do these kind of jobs. It's, this has been a really big project and we've learned a lot and we've got a lot completed thanks to Mark and the district. Wow, that does sound like a lot of work and time and cooperation from uh, landowners and other entities for this overall project. And Mark, can you explain a little bit about some of the funding that was involved and some of the entities that did help to, for this project? Yeah, well, the, uh, we started with a core permit and had a lot of 
uh, help from the DEQ on, on the 401 certification, which really got us going and the, the, the approval, the green light to go ahead with this. And a lot of our funding agencies were were um, stepping up to help us out with uh, with funding. I think we had close to a dozen different uh, funding agencies. Uh, some were were to help the directly directly help the landowners, and others were were more on the diversion side where they were helping the the uh, ditch companies. Uh, included the NRCS, Water Development Commission, Natural Resource Trust Fund, Fish and Wildlife Service. I mean, there's just a, there's several of them. In addition to that. Um, this kind of project, our budget was somewhere around a million dollars a mile to what we did. Uh, we've, we've come close to spending five million of it so far. We're about three years into a five-year uh, uh, schedule on this. Yeah, the, the funding effort has, has brought a lot of people together and a lot of cooperation amongst the landowners and, and the partnering agencies, and we're, we're starting to see a lot of benefits from it. And what, uh, what do you think some of those benefits have been during this process? Well, we've reduced a tremendous amount of sediment load. Um, we've uh, provided a lot of fish passage to reach the diversion sites. We've reduced the flooding flooding stages in the town of Bags. Um, the, the water infiltration gallery is working really good right now. It was replaced by the town. Yeah, we've seen a lot of benefits so far, and I think there's still a lot of benefits we haven't even realized yet. And, and not to mention that the amount of money that's been contributed to the community is a financial boost for the for the work. Everybody is kind of realizing a lot of the benefits now that it's visible after we've had a couple of years of you know high water runoff and it's we're all seeing the benefits and hoping to see a lot more Let's go talk to Bob now about some of the benefits he's seen on this project as well as working with the Conservation District. So Bob, as another landowner on this stretch of river, uh, what are some of the benefits you've seen and what are some of the benefits you've seen while working with the Conservation District? Well, as far as a private landowner, to undertake an operation like this as an individual, we don't have the money. So without partnering up with the district, and using Mark's vision here and, and Jack's expertise, we as an individual weren't able to uh, tackle a project of this size. And as far as benefits now, you can see that the stabilization of the irrigation, um, our infrastructure throughout the ranch, and the un other untold benefit is that we've got a river here that actually flows water before it used to go dry. There's a lot of untold benefits in here. Uh, we've developed a fisheries in here at, uh, with the depths in these pools and things. We may even support some uh, trout fisheries in here. Uh, it's good for kayaking and floating the river now, where it was impossible to do before, you can navigate the river now. Uh, it's just been a truly wonderful experience as me as a, a landowner and working with the with the district and with Jack Reisner, good neighbor and a great contractor. Well, that's great. And thank you, Bob and Jack and Mark for being here today to show us how this project has evolved over time and for showing us what others in similar situations could do on their own places. Thank you. For more information about this project or similar projects like this, please contact the Little Snake River Conservation District or the Wyoming Association of Conservation Districts at www.conservewy.com. <laughs>